back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to do background operation using work manager periodically for flutter android i have already done it for flutter ios also i have done one more video on one time request for flutter android but this is for periodic or periodic work so again the os will decide when to run your operation you can't really control it so that's why i can't show you the output but what i'm trying to do is uh, inside my background operation i'm calling an api i'm storing some data inside my preferences data store which is a key value data pair and if there is suppose if the user uh, reopens our app after few days then i'm immediately checking whether there is data inside our preferences data store if yes i'm sending that data from uh, native android to our flutter side so that's what i'm uh, doing but the disadvantage is that everything like 99 percent of the code is written on native android side so yeah that's what it is like it's very difficult to say uh, run some dart code inside work manager uh, but yeah that's what it is let's get started so here i have created a flutter app and i have refactored my home page widget to first get an event channel so this will help us to send data from native android to flutter side so that's why i have created a broadcast stream as well and i'm listening it over here and i'm setting the state depending on that next i have created a text as well to display that data next i have i will open the android folder inside android studio now uh, <coughs> i'm not using dependency injection for native android like dagger hilt because that was causing a lot of issue for me uh yeah that's why but it is bad good idea to use dagger it like i have figured it out for react native and native android but for flutter it's it was causing a lot of gradle issues which i couldn't figure out but anyways so first you have to go to this build.gradle make sure you're using kotlin version 1.9.0 next go to this build.gradle and here make sure compile hdk version is 34 at least min hdk i think 21 is fine but i kept it as 24 target hdk version is 34 as well and here i have added retrofit which will help us to make api call i have also added this dependency which is work manager helping to do background operation uh, this is data store preferences data store used to store normal key value pair of data and this is life cycle because i need access to core routines and life cycle scope as well next you will have to go to android manifest add this internet permission because we are making api call next uh, here we ha i have added this android colon name dot my application we will create this class soon and also you will have to add this provider as well this uh, helps us to do work manager initialization when the android app boots up <coughs> so firstly i'll show you this demo api so here you can see i'm calling this api but apart from base url everything i have put over here inside this get endpoint and it is a get endpoint and the response is post so if you see i have created a class for this as well and i am only saving the title inside my preferences data store but if you want you can use user id id body as well next i have created a class called my preferences.kt and this is for preferences data store so this method will be used for saving that title this is for getting that title and i have also created this save count and get count so just to know how many times our a uh, background operation has ran so just for that purpose i have kept use this and th here we are creating a singleton for this and this is our preferences data store next i have also created uh, our custom worker so this is the main class so here you can see i am extending from coroutine worker and inside the do work method whatever you have defined over here will be run inside the background operation so as you can see i am doing an api call and if it is successful i am uh, getting our preferences data store object i am saving it inside uh, the save string method and i am also getting the count and whatever is the count i am doing a plus one to that and i am saving it back again and if it is successful return success otherwise retry next uh, you will have to go to network model.kt so this is the base url of our api and uh, here you can see i am doing creating an http client uh, and here i am creating a converter json factory which is for json parsing here i am creating instance of our retrofit and here i am creating api service as well uh, for retrofit next uh, we are create going to my application.kt and here we are extending from application and also extending configuration.provider so we have to override this method 
and here as you can see i'm directly creating objects over here even i don't understand this fully but this is required for work manager and here you can see uh, i'm directly creating objects but this is a bad practice actually you should use a dagger hilt or some dependency injection but anyways uh, and here you can see i have created this custom worker factory we are initializing our custom worker uh, over here okay so this class next i have shown you this i have shown you this i have shown you this as well now coming to main activity so here you can see firstly i have created that event channel over here as well so same identifier as which we have defined it on the flutter side and i have created our event sync as well and as soon as our on create method is called i am uh, initializing our preferences data store as well as initializing our event channel as well and once the event channel is initialized i am calling this retrieve data method which will help us to check whether there is any data inside my preferences data store if yes then collect that string as well as collect that count and send it back to the flutter side okay now to start your job uh, you will have to use this uh, periodic request builder which will help us to run periodic uh, request periodically so even if the user has opened your app today and for the next 10 days he hasn't opened your app he or she hasn't opened your app then even uh, after that the even uh, during that time this periodic request will keep on uh, getting triggered by the os now here we have set it a time interval as one hour but there is no guarantee it could take up to two hours three hours as well but yeah don't keep it as seconds uh, that won't really work and here we have kept it as 15 minutes uh, so this flex time so that means that the work will execute it between 45 minutes to one hour and i have also set the back off criteria and if you want you can set constraints as well so i will show you what constraints are uh, it's basically like uh, you are telling the o os o run this background operation only when there is a uh, particular constraint is satisfied so if you want uh, this uh, background operation to run only when there is network connectivity you can add some constraint like this and you can just uncomment this out and here you can see i am uh, enqueuing our unique periodic work i have given it some name and this tells the os that okay run this operation whenever you feel like so yeah i think uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching bye